hi friends welcome back and thank you so much for viewing so as you can see in this video i'm going to be showing you one of my favorite methods on how to make a bc soup okay and if you love the lumpy type you might just have to stick by i'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to achieve that and without wasting your time let's start so I'm going to start by cooking my meat. I'm using beef meat, that burning type, but feel free to use any protein of your choice. So I'll go ahead and season it with ginger powder, with maggi, salt, minced garlic or pounded garlic, <laughs> and also I'll be adding in onions. Then I'll go ahead and add enough water because I'll be needing a lot of the stock later on. So I'm going to add enough water inside. And then make adjustments and cover it and then leave it to cook. Meet the star of the soup, the eggwisi. So I've already blended mine. So the next thing I'm going to do is to just to create a hole like this inside and then I'm going to add in some of the meat stock and then I'm going to now mix it to create paste. So be very careful not to put in way too much of the stock so to avoid that so that it won't become watery and to avoid that you can put it little by little until you get the desired consistency so when you are done mixing it you're not going to set it aside then you're not going to get another pot and then add in enough red oil inside then heat it up and then add in your minced garlic or pounded garlic and then also add in your onions at this point then go ahead and give it a stir and leave it to fry for about one minute. So after for one minute, you're now going to add in your blended pepper, that one right there on the screen, tatashe and atarugu, then add it in and then give it a well stir. Then you're not going to scoop in the egusi paste inside the pot like this. So keep doing this until you exhaust the egusi paste and go ahead and scrape out all of the paste if you can <laughs> and make sure you leave nothing inside all right <laughs> and so when you are done you're not going to cover it and leave it on a medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes and if you want it to be like more lumpy then you can leave it longer than that okay so I left my for about 15 minutes and this is how it looks like. So I don't want mine to be too lumpy so I'm just going to break it a bit, some of it a bit. Just like this. And then when you are done, you're not going to add in your cooked meat inside with the stock. And then this is my dry smoked fish. I've already washed it. Go ahead and add it in. And then I'll also be adding one more, also known as cow skin. Then add in the seasoning, salt and maggi. And also you're not going to add in your crayfish at this point. Then I'm going to add in more water. I rinse the plate I use in storing my my blended pepper <laughs> then add in the water and if you want to maintain the lumps make sure that you don't put much of the stock and the water then give it a well stir and then you're going to cover it and leave it for a few minutes on fire to cook
and this is after a few minutes i left my for about 20 minutes to cook so give it a stir So I still have some lumps inside, look at it right there. So and now for my vegetable, I'm going to be using bitter leaf. But you can feel free to use any vegetable of your choice. You can use uziza, you can use ugu, you can use even spinach too. But for this soup right here, I'm going to be using bitter leaf, okay? And so if you're going to be using bitter leaf, make sure that you wash it well to the point that you can't really taste the bitterness inside before adding it in. So after giving it a well mix, I'm going to cover it and leave it to simmer for one minute. And after one minute, this is how it looks. The oil is all settled up. It's bubbling. The aroma is amazing. The taste is out of this world. <laughs> so guys, just give it more stir and then you bring it down. So it's quite easy to make, isn't it? So go ahead and try it and let me know the outcome in the comment section below okay i'd love to hear the result and so guys just go ahead and serve it with any swallow of your choice how to serve mine with toshi kafa that is rice swallow very easy to make for me to know how to make it the best way let me know in the comment section and so guys if you enjoy watching this don't forget to like share and leave me your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe bye